Okay. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jill Wallace, and I'm the Director of Customer and Communities here at Epping Forest District Council. During the last four weeks, many of you have been voting in your schools for new youth councillors to serve on the Epping Forest Youth Council. Youth elections have been held in seven secondary schools throughout the district, and a total of 5,445 votes have been democratically cast. I would like to thank all candidates, voters and school staff for your efforts in making these elections one of the best on record. We received 60 applications to stand as a candidate for 24 seats. The candidates are aged between 12 and 17. They have campaigned hard in their respective schools to win. School pupils were given the opportunity to vote for the candidates that they believed would best represent them. Future youth councillors have pledged to their voters that they will give them a voice on current and local issues affecting young people, that they will make a difference and that they will work hard to achieve their goals. And now to the results. The following pupils have been elected. From Brayside School, Isella Harrison and Freya Foster. From Chigwell School, Yuvan Kumar and William Ayrton. From Davenant Foundation School, Jacques Prinsloo and Kwase Azar. From Debden Park High School, Krish Gohill, Amber Griffiths, and Evie Griffiths. From Epping St John's School, Alexander Amoteng, Millie Thompson, and Oscar Ruthven. From King Harold Business and Enterprise Academy, Rihanna Chuperka, Jacques Petra Krupa, and Rhys Bartlett. From New City College, Erica Skingsley. From Onga Academy, James Nabor and Sarah Shirak. From Roding Valley High School, Abigail Berger, Penelope Casali and Ailey Ergor. Independent youth councillors are Orient Anipur, Rafi Sher, and Hassan Akhtar. That concludes the youth election results for 2024. You can follow the progress of the new youth council cohort by looking at them on their social media, which is at EppingYC. Thank you very much and have a lovely evening.